Hey there, and thanks for stopping by. My name is Rich, and I want to show you some easy AI tools that everyone can use. Here is a good example of some of the easier tools for AI. Let's take Master Chief here and see what fun things we can do. While the background is of the halo, how about we change the scenery for MC? We can take him to another faraway world, or perhaps a beach. He has served and fought in a long and grueling war. He deserved a vacation. As you can see, it's as easy to edit out backgrounds with just a few clicks. Did you make a mistake? Or would you like to retrieve the original picture? No problem. Just use the restore or reset options to go back in time. No matter what you do, your original image is always safe. No worries about losing it or overriding the file. While you're messing around with removing the background, how about adding something with a bit of flair? As you can see here, many stroke options have various effects. These can be used for all kinds of things like posters or even turning MC into a sticker. Now, let's try something a little more advanced and much cooler. Messing around with pictures can be fun, even if you are just doing it because you are bored. Let's see what we can turn MC into for this example. For this, we will use an image-to-image -image generation technique. Essentially, it takes your image and transforms it. After you scroll through the options, pick one or more just to see what happens. For this example, we can use the felt option. While I admit I have no idea what that means, you can just go by the picture. This process can produce some unusual and interesting outcomes, but it is also one of the most time-consuming generation-wise. The amount of work that the AI has to do in the background is about 10 times more intense than our previous examples. Also, the more radical the change, such as us using one of the more 3D animation styles, the longer it can take. For the most part, however, it is worth the wait when you see some of the epic transformations you can do. While we wait for a minute or two, let's review some additional information. On the bottom left, under the different picture options, you will have noticed I put the image count to two. This will process two different images. For the most part, this will result in two variations with somewhat different outcomes. With generative AI tools, it is sometimes a process of try this, then try it again, and maybe try one more time. I will scroll through the rest of the options here just to give you an idea of the interesting things you can create. Some images I created were downright strange. It doesn't always work well, but that's half the fun of finding the correct settings and combinations for what you want. Above the images option, it says prompt. What this can do is a bit more on the technical side. If you're finding that your generations are just not working, you can literally tell the AI what you want. This feature, while useful, is more technical in nature. What you type is literally how the feature will read it and create options. I use ChatGPT and a few other AI tools and bots to create very detailed scripts for the prompts. I had to edit a bit forward. The little boy in the felt example was pretty complex, I guess. Now that we have the two images side by side, you can see some differences. AI in its current form still has issues with eyes, fingers, and a few lighting effects, but for the most part, we got some good results. We are nearing the end of my small walkthrough, so I will close with a more complicated one. This is the AI face swap feature. It's considered somewhat taboo, as it has been used to create deep fake, as they are called. What this means is people can swap celebrities, or just popular people, and put them in shady situations and videos. However, it is one of the hardest tools to get right. The very handsome, and definitely not me. Man seems very happy, doesn't he? However, this causes the first issues. Too much expression, I wear, hate, and other facial expressions make it very hard to process. Also, like you see in the background, there are a ton of people the AI has to try to filter. For now, let's use these guys for an easy example. Even though they are clean cut and in basic picture taking form, it still only changes a few features. Facial hair, slight, eye and brow structure, and a color mix for the hair. This process is time consuming and typically requires a lot of guidance. If used for fun though, it can be pretty silly. We've reached a good stopping point for our brief tour into the world of AI generation. These are just basic tools to show the average everyday person how easy and fun using AI can be. Although it is currently so advanced, not many people are aware of its capabilities. The first thing that comes to mind is Skynet and the Terminator movies. While we're not quite there yet, some of the technology behind the scenes is pretty shocking. 
but that is for another time. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching until the end. I hope you learned something, or at least I sparked your interest. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like and subscribe so you can be notified of my new content.